She's gonna come nibble on my toe, I think. What? 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 What's up, Pinky? Yeah, you wanna eat? Oh my God. I don't know if you guys can see them. We got some Fluker heat lamps up there. Sometimes you get little buddies stuck in the skimmer. We're moving, we're moving and grooving. We're just gonna take the syringe and draw up some water. You see what I'm doing? I'm squirting the substrate. Make sure their legs are still strong. Make sure they're looking good. Look at him. He's like a pointer dog. He's still pointing. If I were a tortoise, which I am not. Oh, guys, look at this. That's a crushed egg. Come on. I can't believe this. My fingers are going to smell rank. Here they come. They're going to come attack. Red foot attack. Oh, guys, look at this. Look at this. Exposed eggs. That looks like slinky food. Actually, I damaged that with my poker, like a knucklehead. And that ran, hey, you scared me. Lag, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put, whoa! Ah, oh, look at that, the tortoises are wrestling again. That's so much fun. I love when the tortoises wrestle, yeah. <laughs> anyway, good day today. We got some wind coming in. You see the wind? You can't really see the wind, but you can see the wind's effect on the trees. So uh, that means a front's coming in. It's gonna get a little cooler than normal. First cool weather of the season. Now, the last video, you saw me get ready the snakes and so on. Today, I just wanna show you what I did uh, in between videos. Uh, we got these <clears throat> passive heat barriers up. I've actually stuck them up. Uh, uh, what I like to do is, the tortoises need to understand and learn what these are. Sometimes they won't poke their heads through and uh, they won't go in and out. So what I do is I just pin them up <clears throat> like this so the tortoises can see. And there you go, they're inside. But we did a technique I learned from my buddy Jerry who learned it from a gentleman, Jim Heck, I think, uh, where we do one set on the inside and one set on the outside. Here comes a little gal to say hello. Uh, and this way it creates a uh, kind of a pocket of air in here as a buffer between the warmth inside and the cooler air on the outside. She's gonna come nibble on my toe, I think. What, what, what? You're a carnivorous tortoise, is that what you are? Oh no, little lady, you little rascal. She's gonna nibble on me. Anyway, so we did that on that side. Here are the old doors, I'm gonna leave them off. If I wanna lock the tortoises in, I'll probably just pin up um, a board, like some fence board, just to keep them inside during a cold spell. Uh, if it gets down below 50 degrees, I'll just keep them inside <clears throat> and lock them in. But we've got Fluker heat lamps on the ceiling. I don't know if you guys can see them. We got some Fluker heat lamps up there. Uh, that's gonna provide them with the warmth they need with this uh, Fluker ceramic heat emitters. Uh, the infrared heat emitters, that really works well for me. I like it. Um, you can also use Fluker uh, heat lamps, heat bulbs. I like to use the red ones because this way you can visually look and see the lights are on no, so you know that there is actually heat inside the uh, shelter. So um, really happy with how that turned out. Everyone's doing well. Um, we got the fencing going. We're gonna have more of that. Another update is that Stuart from Universal Rocks is coming this Sunday. Uh, so when you watch this video, Stuart's gonna be here and uh, we're gonna be just going off on Slinky's cage. It's gonna be really, really rad. Once we get that done, I gotta get to work with my friends at Amazonia Ponds to build the Aquascape Pondless uh, Waterfall System. We modified it. I gotta say thanks again to my friends at Aquascape. They sent me this, okay? This is everything you need for the Pondless Waterfall System. It's gonna be a smaller one. We don't need a large one, but this just came today, and this is really cool because this is um, a little bit of an upgrade to the pondless waterfall. Usually it just has this spray attachment that allows the water to pool and then drips down. But what Ed from Aquascape did is I called him Monday and uh, here we are, they rushed the delivery on this. But what we got is <clears throat> one of their bio falls. Okay, so look at this thing. So we're gonna use the bio falls as the headwaters of our pondless waterfall. Now, why am I using a biofalls? Because I want the water to be naturally uh, filtered out. I want it to have that biological filtration component so that when the lizard drinks from it, 
it's clean water very very important for healthy reptiles uh you want them to have clean water now what do we do in the rest of this video we got a couple things i have to accomplish i need to check out um i would like to just check the red foot enclosure for some eggs but i want to just do a quick visual of these aquascape enclosures these aquascape ponds i've taken out some of the ferns that were here in the back so now you can kind of see the pond it was getting overgrown so now you can kind of see it right here uh everything's looking really really good there's one of the badger borneensis right there poking a little head up and um yeah everyone's doing very well i love the ponds um again this is just a ritual i do guys i i, I want to just hurry through this because you've seen me do this ad nauseum but oh and there you go look at this and <clears throat> why do i do this everyone because sometimes sometimes you get little buddies stuck in the skimmer now this is an orlidia borneensis not the badiger borneensis or is it orlidia borneensis and badiger borneensis i don't know but this is the only turtle in its genus orlidia so here is orlidia we'll just call it that or the giant asian uh river turtle and uh you know this guy here can grow to be about 100 pounds you guys if you look back a few videos you'll see me putting some adults into the large ponds uh this little guy um i released not too long ago and uh they're doing great they're growing nicely and uh just great little turtles that turn into monsters they turn into very large turtles so i put two of them in this enclosure and i put two in the other pond which we'll see in a moment but i love these turtles but they're not for everyone because they do get very very large um but they're really cool they're mostly secretive but here at the camp they become very used to me so they're a little bit more friendly let's get this faux rock cover back on all right good we're gonna move along we got to get to the backyard and then i want to get inside this room actually so that i can check the incubator and do a little um egg incubation maintenance a little husbandry even before they've hatched you got to keep the humidity up and i want to make sure i do that on camera to show you guys what i do uh, okay everyone's good here the lunatic the lunatic central american sliders come right out no problem these guys look at them, all three of them and what's funny is <clears throat> when i had the raccoon attacks um i thought for sure these little guys would have gotten it they were much smaller earlier in the summer but these guys you know sliders man they're pretty tough they hid well and um they did all right so glad to see this crew this little motley crew of turtles is doing well so very cool uh no food today not not a feeding day but um hey they're happy nonetheless okay where are we at just a quick check of our galops and aldabra hello young lady up oh, they knocked their hose out see which is easy to do i gotta pipe in some water here it'll just make things way easier hey nas socrates nostradamus how you do what are you doing what are you what are you climbing up there we don't want you climbing up there come over here you handsome guy you I love this tortoise again part of the maintenance is just to touch them see how they're doing make sure their legs are still strong make sure they're looking good if they have any ticks you pluck them off look at how strong he is he's just posed up there what a gorgeous animal oh yes and you're beautiful too but you're not as friendly see not as friendly not as friendly little jerk sometimes come on out here get out here get out here let me scratch that neck you know you love it oh you're gonna ram me is that what you're gonna do good grief yeah, she's, look at him. He's like a pointer dog. He's still pointing. Yeah, I don't know. They're nuts. But they look good. Let's go see Darwin. There's our girl. woo -wee! We're now about three months out from when she got hurt. And uh, look at this. She's perfect. She is perfect. Good girl. Shout out to Kate for noticing. And then Dr. Mike and uh, Jerry for helping me out when she was hurt was really touch and go there and now she loves me more yes she does all right it's not about you today though kids we're moving we're moving and grooving all right i love i love the breeze it's not fun to ride my bike in but 
I do, uh, you know, there's a lot going on, you know? You can tell the atmosphere is changing here in Florida. We get that cooler, drier air, which signifies the end of the wet season here in Florida. Pinky, what's up, girl? What's up, Pinky? Yeah, you want to eat? Oh my God, you don't want to eat everyone. You don't want to eat everyone. It's not a chicken or an egg or a rodent. <sighs> that Pinky, man, she's a wild one. Okay, so as I said, I do want to look around and see if we have any eggs in the um, Redfoot enclosure. It's like right in the middle of their season. Actually, uh, their season goes from end of September so I guess it's not really to January down here in Florida. Let's pop in here real quick. Let's see our serpent, our big gal. There she is, the one, the only, the buttercup. She's doing well. And then here we are. You know what? I think I'm gonna try and look for some eggs in here because this is a dirt floor. This is a dirt floor and I haven't looked for eggs in here. But if I were a tortoise, which I am not. Oh, guys, look at this. That wasn't for me. That's a crushed egg. Was that for me? Come on. I can't believe this. What the heck? She might have crushed it. Oh, that's rotten. That's definitely not for me. Ay, ay, ay. These are old eggs. These are, look at this. Look at this. Oh, I should have been looking here earlier. My my fingers are going to smell rank. Yeah, that wasn't for me, but that was... How random is that? I just looked down here, said, hey, I should try looking for eggs, and I uh, found some, albeit a little bit too late. We had some rain. I think that rotted out those eggs. Cover them up. I smell horrible right now. Awful. It's terrible. So again, this is my technique. What are you doing, young lady? You got yourself all propped up over there. They like to lay in corners or near near uh, structures, plants. Oh, come here, young lady. I've just got to move you over a little bit. Let's just see. Nothing here. That's firm. What I'm looking for is for the ground to give way. I gently tap with my poker here. And this is just an ornamental lantern hanger that I've modified. Uh, you can get these at Home Depot. But um, again, I just give a little tap on the soil. And, you know, you might find the odd egg chamber. I don't know. Nothing happening. Look at this. This looks a little suspect, huh? Sometimes when it rains heavy, the water comes through here, and that's why it eroded a little bit. But luckily for me, these guys don't really dig. Um, so I'll just have to fill that in. I'll probably do some cement. So I'll have to add that to the to-do list, people. There's a lot to do on the farmer. What's this? Is that sinking? No, not really. All right, let's get outside. But that is weird that I did find an older nest that had rotten eggs, eggs in it. Mm. It is what it is. Can't get them all. Can't get them all. And sometimes the eggs actually will hatch in the enclosure. So I really love uh, the red foot enclosure. We're going to fix up this whole thing. We're going to use this rock for something else. There's going to be a new barrier here to keep them in. One in which the tortoises cannot climb because I do have a couple of these red foots. Here they come. They're going to come attack. Red foot attack. Uh, I do have a male and a female that have figured out a way to get out of here. So I don't know. That's pretty nuts. I've got some uh, K2 climbing tortoises. They're more agile than you think, believe it or not. Again, what did I tell you? They like to lay kind of by plants and so on. So best thing to do is just take your poker and gently tap to see if any of the uh, soil is not compacted. All right, that's all we do. We may get lucky, we may not. It's been a couple days um, since I've checked and they are quite prolific when it comes to laying eggs. 
this looks interesting let's get down low here let's get down low now I, it's possible that's just a pallet that these guys made right there you see that indentation right here it's possible it's just a pallet from where they rest but it's worth a little poking around because this is a good area to lay eggs but no alas it was not to be hello how do you do and because we had rain earlier in the week i'm concerned that some of these nests may have become inundated with water and drowned um, i never really see eggs back in here it seems like they know where the low spots are so there you go now i dug this up earlier <clears throat> oh guys look at this look at this look at this exposed eggs because of the rain it it made it come down but these eggs look good still can you believe this this is why you got to get out and check your critters you got to, uh oh look at this that looks like slinky food all right now i'm gonna try not to rotate these because i don't know when they were in fact laid but we'll be gentle with them and this is crazy because i i had dug this up um but it looks like someone came and laid it so this one is damaged see there's just no save in that <clears throat> so sadly um that's going to be I, actually i damaged that with my poker like a knucklehead um but we still got four eggs out of the ground i'm going to gently place them up here just gently place them up there i'm trying to keep them in the same orientation okay see that top so this this is definitely good let's give this to lagatha but let's keep checking we'll put this one right here let's keep gently checking now you may think oh that's horrible you know you broke an egg but guys <clears throat> you know to be honest it's better always to get four eggs out of the ground and damage one than to not even see the others i don't know if this is this is a nest but i'm gonna dig in here see how wet the soil is we did have that rain hey you scared me she scared me my gosh i'm just happy we got four eggs <clears throat> excuse me am i is are these your eggs are you upset with me i'm gonna incubate them for you pal don't you worry oh, now hold on you, you know what <clears throat> this is a very popular egg laying site so i'm not even gonna poke i'm just gonna dig but i like i said i had been out here a couple days ago it doesn't seem like it has been disturbed again and i compacted it pretty good so i don't think we have any eggs in here which is okay see i pound it down there but again just kind of give it an eyeball i think that's all we got of those four let's go ahead we'll leave this here because i can check later but let's go ahead and see if lagatha is interested in an egg right she is a tree monitor after all doesn't smell bad <clears throat> let's go this will be a nice treat um like i said stewart's coming down we're going to get to work on this so next week you guys are going to see a video where we transform slinky's entire cage into a universal rocks and aquascape masterpiece uh super super cool stuff going on so i'm really excited about that uh she's up there i'm getting egg all over me I gotta be careful because the you know she's gonna see the egg and get real excited so let's hey laggy i'm gonna put this here look what i got look what i got look at this look at this laggy look at this it's an egg you want an egg eggy come on i want you to eat the egg look at that do you know what that is that's an egg that's good for you. Yeah, flick that tongue. Flick that little tongue. Come on. Come on. Oh, she should like that. She should really be interested in that egg. Now, she's doing great. What a beautiful lizard, right? Uh, I love her, man. So I got to talk a little bit lower because she gets a little bit nervous. She's a little temperamental, as some girls are prone to be. And I don't mean that in a derogatory way. I just mean some of the gals I know, 
gotta talk to them nice. You gotta be nice to them. Especially gals that have long claws and a long tail and even longer teeth that could totally dismember me if she wanted. Hi, little lag. Lag, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put, whoa, Jesus, come on. You scared the crap out of me, I dropped the egg, man. You see, I'm a little twitchy, a little twitchy today. You would too, you would be too, trust me. But that's all right, we just tenderized it a little bit. Hey lady, come here. Why you gotta freak out? Why are you freaking? There's the egg. People wanna see you eat it. That's why we are here. Can you do me the solid? There's always a little excitement at my camp. And, um, well, there's also tortoises walking around. But, um, yeah, she's uh, an interesting girl. Are you not interested? Because I know someone who will eat this up right away. Whoa, come on. Come on, girl. You got to get used to me now. You got to get used to me now. All right, you don't want it. Maybe it's just too much action. Maybe it's too much action. I'm trying to be friends with you. Wow, I'm not doing good. I'm not doing good on the old, come here, now you smell it, right? Now she smells it. We tenderize that there's still a lot of egg in here. She's getting more excited. She's realizing what this is. I think she's starting to realize what in fact that is. Come on, babe. Come here. Boy, I'm covered with egg today. See, that tongue starts flicking and she starts to realize what it is, but maybe the best course of action is just leave her be because this egg is pretty much demolished. She can lap it up if she wants it. Nah, she don't want it. Well, okay, ain't happening. Sorry guys, but we did get to see her. I love her. This egg's now trashed. She can just lap up the uh, yolk if she likes. <clears throat> yeah. Hey man, this is true reality. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. We can't make the animals do what they don't want to do. And I can't get this set. Did I just, holy smokes. Uh, stay there. Let's get you guys set up. And what's this all about? What's that drama? That's never happened. But oh, because I got all this garbage in there. Get it out. There we go. Okay. So, like I said, get to work on this. It's gonna be a whole video. Can't wait to finish this enclosure up, and it's gonna look just night and day different. It's gonna look so good. So I'm really excited about that. But let's go ahead and get these eggs, get them inside. We'll check on some of the lizard eggs. Um, put these guys in, in, a, in an incubating container and just, you know, keep it rolling right along. All right, we're inside. Here's the incubator. We need to check on everybody. Uh, I'm gonna simply put these eggs in with some of the um, redfoots that are already uh, incubating right now. Um, we're not going to set up a whole new uh, tub or incubating container for these because I can just actually fit them in nicely right here. And we see how we have a little condensation. I like to keep a little condensation on the tops. Uh, these guys were laid earlier in the week, so they're all going to be fine. I don't mind doing this. It doesn't bother me. Um, I just kind of make room. They're all sitting on the tray. No big deal, there we go. Just gotta be very gentle with them. Uh, they should all hatch around the same time. Now, a lot of people will date the eggs. <clears throat> I got so much going on. I don't really date them anymore. I just know, just pretty much know which container was laid when. So we've got some, like I said, here's some condensation. I know that there's some moisture in there, but I wanna check on the black throat eggs. And these are my rhino eggs which are starting 
to dent. Now this denting, when done close to um, hatching, is good. You want that to happen. It's, they're gonna dent. Uh, that means that the yolk is finally being absorbed by the uh, young neonates inside. And um, yeah, they're gonna be hatching probably in the next week and a half. So that's good news. They're starting to dent, so that's the rhino eggs. Okay, let's get this container back on. But I really want to check the black throat eggs that Jerry and I are dealing with. And I just looked, you can see they're denting a little bit. That's actually denting due to um, them being drier. We need to increase the moisture. See, and I know because I use these paper towels as a way for me to feel the moisture. So I know now you see there's a dent in there, and these guys still have about eight or seven months left. Let me grab some water. This I'm gonna use for water. I'll show you what I'm gonna do. Because we don't want to actually get the eggs wet, what we do is we take a syringe, okay? And we're just gonna take the syringe and draw up some water. And we can actually safely squirt the, you see what I'm doing? I'm squirting the substrate. So we're basically able to get them moist without the water touching the eggs because sometimes what you can do is you can create a situation where there's mold. You don't want to do that. So we're just going to do this. Make sure that substrate has a lot of moisture in it. And I just shoot the, um, just shoot the edge of the container. And these gentle hits that I'm doing are not going to hurt the eggs at all. So we're just going to put more in here. See what I'm doing? All right, I'm using these. I bought these on Amazon, these little hatch right um, egg trays. I dig them. It's the first year using them, but I've used suspended incubation method before with SIM uh, containers, and that works well because it keeps the lizard eggs off of the old substrate where I've had issues with mold. So, so far so good, no mold on these eggs. So we're doing well. All right, so I've done that. Now what I wanna do, I'm gonna put you guys up here real quick. What I'm gonna do is just simply, um, you know, moisten these paper towels again and wring them out really well. Just squeeze out all the liquid okay you just want a pliable paper ta paper towel so it's got moisture on it but it's not sopping wet so when i drape it over the eggs this is going to be my indicator um, that you know when if this dries out that's when i know i need to go ahead and um you know rehydrate the eggs so we've done this one all right, and in a few hours, you'll see condensation on the top of the, of the egg container. So let's do the others. There's more. These look fine to me. Yeah, this is still pliable. See, and look, look at the eggs. The eggs are all around, okay? There's still moisture in this one. Now, why would one uh, dry out and the other? I don't know, but um, we're gonna take care of it as I do. This is gonna be so cool to have baby black throat monitors. I think that would be sweet. All right, let's do two hands so we don't have a catastrophe and I don't screw up anything. There we go. That's what we want to do. Just like that. Now the final thing I'll do is I'll take some room temperature water and I just dump it in this tray. That tray is getting a little dry and that's just calcification. Um, we have hard water here in Florida. So it's just a little calcification floating on the top. No big deal. Can't hurt anything. It's still water. And uh, there we go. I love it. Let's get this in there too. All right, there you have it, people. We've uh, taken care of business today and I brought you all along with me. That's what I like to do. This is what's happened on all the old farm today, man. Uh, what do you guys think? Um, did you learn anything? I don't know. I try. Um, it's always fun to walk around, see the animals, check on them, make sure everything's going well, and uh, keep you guys abreast of what's coming up. Uh, lots coming up. Stick with the channel. We're having so much fun. To the new subscribers, thank you guys. 
Really, really appreciate you guys joining up. This is what I do. I hang out with my animals. I try and make their lives better. I beautify their habitats. And uh, man, that's what it's all about. So uh, windy day, a lot of debris, debris, it's debris, uh, you know, leaf litter on top of the uh, pond. But at the end of the day, these animals are happy and these fish are looking for some food. I'm gonna go throw some food in. You guys, just re uh, rejoice, rejoice. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm rejoicing at the lovely day and the beautiful animals I share my life with. Thanks so much for your attention. I hope you guys learned something. I'm gonna get some food, throw it in the pond, and you guys keep on surfing and be good to animals. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.